Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about curtain bangs. So we're gonna be talking about the key things to look out for, what you want out of your curtain bangs. And also I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to cut them. So if you've been thinking about getting this super hot trend, hopefully watching this quick tutorial will help you understand better if this is something for you. I'm such a visual person that seeing it be done just really helps me understand the look kind of from every corner and angle. But yeah, I think the reason why these bangs are so in is because they are so versatile. They look good on almost every single face shape but it just adds basically a sophisticated and chic accessory to your hair so whether you're looking to actually try this on yourself or just here for a little bit of inspo stay tuned and let's get into it all right guys so as you can see here I've already done one side I'm gonna be showing you how to do it on this side but just to touch on some key points that I think are gonna get your curtain bangs to perfection is first of all, you need a pretty good slant. What that means is from your shortest piece to your longest piece, you want a pretty long kind of a transition. We see a lot of this and this to me is just straight across bangs that are a little bit long and kind of brushed to the side. So a great curtain bang has a beautiful sweep coming over. So there's this beautiful almost disconnect here at the eye, which brings a ton of attention to the eye, which is so flattering. So this looks beautiful when the hair is down, obviously, or when the hair is up. So in establishing that length, I think a good rule of thumb is for that end to just kind of skim the brow. So the shorter this starting piece here is, the more curtainy bang vibe you're going to get, but also that's going to entail a lot more styling and manipulation. So if this is your first time getting bangs in a while and you want something that is going to look beautiful but is going to be pretty easy to manage, I recommend starting with the shortest piece, like I said, at least skimming the brow. So I'm gonna grab the two center pieces here. I'm grabbing a piece here from this already cut side as a guide. All right, so then just kind of glide cutting through that just to establish that slant. And then we can go in and perfect it. And establishing my length down here. So now this is my longest piece and my shortest piece here. So when we just do that bluntly the first time, obviously this doesn't look very elevated, doesn't look very soft. A good haircut is always something that with movement, it kind of always just looks good. It doesn't have to be brushed or styled in a certain way. It should look good, whether it's straight, whether it's wavy, whether it's blown out. And so basically we have our length down, but the next steps is what's really going to elevate it. Then I like to grab a kind of triangular shape at the base there and then elevate the hair. By elevating the hair, you are creating a little bit of softness for when that hair falls. Another thing you wanna do a lot when you do bangs is point cutting. And the deeper you go, in my opinion, the softer, more kind of PC the ends look. Then grabbing that next section with a little bit of that previous section, again, as a guide. Without touching this bottom section here because that's the length you've already established. You don't wanna mess with that. So now just going in and point cutting. And it's important to keep checking. You obviously don't wanna to cut too much length off or too much point cutting to where the ends get a little too wispy or a little too thin. So once you're happy with kind of the density of it, I think this is a good place to stop. Now, all bangs are going to require a little bit of style to really get that beautiful photo shoot look. 
So when you're looking at it profile, you want it to almost come forward this way. It gives it a very feminine, like airy, very effortless kind of look. So in order to get that, the main thing you have to do when styling is first to go in with the blow dryer and blow dry up as you bring the brush forward. So what that's going to establish is that this hair here at the base is going to come forward and swoop out. And then the shorter your pieces are up here, you're going to want to take either just a round brush and a blow dryer, you can use a curling iron. Basically wrap the hair around the brush or your wand and blow dry going this way so that you create a little bit more swoopiness to the ends. Is that a real hair term? And there you have it. Taking her hair down so you can see it kind of more styled and a little more lived in with the rest of her hair. But like I said, I think this style just looks so beautiful whether the hair is up or down. So versatile, so chic, so in. So yeah, hope you found this video and tutorial helpful, even if you're not gonna be doing this cut on yourself at home, but at least hopefully it's given you a better understanding of this super in style. So hopefully you've taken some great inspiration from this video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.